Hey guys, and welcome to part three. Um, in this part, we're just going to finish up this uh, um, handle piece here quickly. Uh, we've got a few more holes to make here. And yeah, then things should be a okay. Um, screen cards, keys, let's do that. Okay, so let's have a look here. So we need a hole in here. Okay. That can be done. Let's do this. Okay. So let's grab this face and this face here. Maybe we can even do these ones. Let's see if we just insert that. It would make just a nice little edge there for us. That's nice. And boundary off. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so let's delete those faces. We left with something like that. And yeah, the first thing we want to do is extrude that. So extrude, scale it in. The scaling, we're going to have some problems, so we need to G on Y. And let's fix this corner here. Something like that. Okay. Okay, the next thing would be to join these pieces in some way so we can actually just start here so something like that and then we'll need to close nothing further actually okay so let's keep doing that we've got that edge i mean vertex there that one and that one if we're gonna need to make some adjustments here that's for sure something like that and one two three four five So here we've got a little pickle that might just be solved like that. One, two, three. see something is it even necessary for that to be closed or any of that actually maybe not so let's leave that like that for now delete the faces um, we definitely want this to go up a bit Cool, so we've got one more hole up on the top here, looks like. So let's grab this face here and we can insert that. This one doesn't seem like it's going to be a very big one. X faces.
look at around this off a bit more so we can take this pick it up bring this one down bring this one here and here and bring it up over there and there and we might just have to do that to give us some better shape of the other circle anyway so let's go back into that position and reshape this again to something more circular circular sound of australian um and yeah then we can grab this do the same technique we want this edge loop here and then we can scale it in again and not worry too much about the shape and just bring it back okay so that's about good here we can obviously make some changes make this more circular shape Okay, so that's fine. So now we've got that hole up there as well. And it seems like we still got two more. So quite a tedious process we got here. But anyway, let's see where this one's coming. It's kind of grabbing these two parts here. Fine, fine. Let's do these two parts then. So gonna be a small one so let's do just this area here inset it nicely like that and then we can manually kind of bring this down bring that out bring that out bring this up somewhat like that make sure we still more or less in the right place here somewhat So that's going to be the shape of our hole, more or less. Um, we can put some things here like that. So something like that. I can bring this one. Scale it in again, bring it in on Y, somewhat like that. So we've got our loop, let's extrude again, scale, bring it in on the Y. This way we've got our, our X, sorry. This way we've got our loop to go in like that. Okay. And there we go. So now we've got one left here on the back side going to be these faces here and then we can finally move on from this tedious job um, it's faces and here some slight cleanup so make this more circular somewhat like that bring that out and yeah, now we can do the same process, E, scale, bring it in to match it, E, scale, a lot more, bring it in, and move it inwards. Like that, okay, 
So what I forgot was to have this holding edge here for these guys. It's quite important. So edge, edge, holding edge. This holding edge that went all crazy here as well. Anyway, um, and yeah, I think I can happily say that we can add our subdivision now and it should be fine. Have a look. So perhaps we want something in there and we can alt S that a bit. That would be nice. Um, just kind of evening out this geometry here. Great. Okay, so subdivision surface. So we can have a look at how this is going. Solid shading. Yeah, so that's a good start. Um, this one here might be a bit small for my liking, so luckily we can easily just do that and scale it up. So that's looking good. We've got all our shapes going here. Um, this is looking nice. We can finish this off actually now by grabbing these pieces here. So it's coming here. Have a look what's happening. So we're still not touching. That's fine. We want this face here now. So kind of um, this face, I think. Yeah, let's start with him. Why not? Uh, let's extrude this guy. Yeah. Well, somewhat like that. Okay. And we'll extrude him again. Put him like here. Okay. Rotate it a bit. Now we got this face here that can nicely do that and we can simply do that over there which is going to help us with this and here we can add another one here that's gonna help us with this shape over here that we're looking for. Oh, that took a while, sorry. And then this one here. Um then we can grab this face and bring it all the way down here. Up to maybe here and then another one. Yeah. And we can then bring this one. Why are you doing that? You're not supposed to do that. And it's, this one's going to wrap around the blade here again as well. So what we can do is immediately go. Ah, so that's what the problem was over there. That's really sad, isn't it? Almost.
Christmas last, all of that. Luckily, not all of it. So yeah, a lot of editing here, but it's going to be worth it at the end to have this base mesh set up like this. Another extrusion. Up to here. So we have this part to extrude that way. And scale it in a bit. Make sure on this side it's fine. And let's bring this final piece out here. Up to about there. Scale this one down quite a bit. Add the edge loop up here. Add an edge loop in here so we can kind of manipulate the shape. Back in face selection, we're going to bring this piece here. Scale that down. Rotate it. And take this piece here. Rotate that. Now, what we can do is extrude this part up to here and have one more extrusion just coming up to this section here. Okay. That way, we can take these two X faces, go into edge selection, and fix these up here. Control E, bridge edge loops, and there we go. So now we can take this one for now and remove it. We're going to add one there later, but for now we can remove it. Add one in the center here, add to that bend. And now we can just finish this piece off. So we've got one piece here that needs to connect somewhere there as well. Um, I should have anticipated for that, but we should be able to add a loop. So uh, let's just go up to this oh, shit. up to this piece here for now. That's fine. And one more time just to have this piece just like to rotate here. And again bringing it down here and yeah for this one we're going to extrude it straight down here like that okay and scale it in slightly rotate somewhat and now we can take a few and bring this guy up to like yeah so Things are starting to go weird here. Uh, this guy needs to rotate that way. And as well come towards the object like that. Okay, so it seems like it's okay there. And we're going to bring it up to the blade here. 
and I'm gonna add a loop cut around here somewhere okay that way we've got this face and this is gonna go underneath there I think so um, let's extrude that out of wireframe and kind of just take it up there and inside underneath in there kind of somewhat something like that okay and immediately now since we're never going to see that surface there i'm going to hit x and base oh shit x and oh my soul sorry about that x and faces Oof, okay so now we can contribute to that shape there bring this down somewhere here and bring it back bring it back bring it back bring it back something like that okay and this part here this edge should like come in here and here we'll add another edge where this short piece is going to come out and create that bend there for us okay so we're going to have to emphasize that so we might as well do it now add in our crease there okay so we're getting somewhere um, let's connect this piece here hoping so I can look better there so let's add this here we'll make like we want that sharper kind of go into face mode and we want to connect it to this bottom one here so these two x face oh blah not that one this one x faces edge selection grab this one and this one Control E bridge edge loops, Control R in there, and that way we can kind of play with this shape a bit. Okay, so there we've got something like that. We need to finish this part off. It's only going to stretch out here. I like this part, so we're definitely going to get this in here. Um, extrude that, bring it down here, somewhat like that take it all the way to this piece here actually how we want to face it so I want it to come past this blade here so that we can add that part that's gonna kind of wrap around there with this piece somewhat like that and we definitely definitely need some edge loops in here because this part's not going to wrap around yet, it's kind of going to make a transition and start to wrap around, so let's bring in this one and create that smooth kind of transition and fall off. Great, okay, um, let's fix this corner here quickly, somewhat like that. Let's finish this part here. Quick and easy. Bring that part up to there. Bring an edge loop. Extrude this part down to here. Scale. Extrude up to here. Scale. Rotate up to yeah okay guys so since we seem to have everything done here um yeah, there are still some things that need to be fixed and stuff like over here definitely we we don't want that kind of weird angle there, so we want to smooth that out. Definitely, seems like it's this one here doing some weird crap. Um, bring that one out. Let's 
Move that a bit as well. Okay, so for now, for now we can deal with that. Okay, um, but I think the next step would be before we carry on in here is to start to form this shape here so we know how to bind this kind of with it um so in here it seems like we're gonna have an overall shape kind of somewhat like this coming in here so it's gonna go like in this dark there and then we'll create these things that we're gonna kind of just put onto it okay um so yeah let's let's get started with that um let's see let's let's make this shape with a cube why not let's use a different shape scale this down and then in object mode we'll bring it up here um so yeah, this is going to be quite simple, we'll just angle it like that, and in face mode, we'll bring this one up to about here, and this one all the way down here, inside of this kind of Okay, so somewhat like that, I and mean, we can immediately go ahead and move the space in here. Okay, so um, the next thing would be to add some loop cuts. So, obviously, in here and in here, and then we can select both of these and use the Alt S function. Alt S function very slightly like that and we can take these vertices on the corners here to make this rounder we can scale them something like that and maybe even okay um, let's see how this encompasses everything here um, so let's scale all of this down On the scale here, we can use shift or like this, and it will do everything except the Y and everything except the X. We want this one, we're gonna bring it in much smaller, okay. So something like that, we want it to fit in this part here, so let's take it down a bit more. Uh, scale, shift, ZZ, should work. Okay. So that seems fine for the moment, and we can come and fix it once we have some edge loops in here we can kind of change the shape so let's start with that let's add in four for now and with this we're going to want to have the proportional editing on and we can just kind of pull this forwards somewhat like that okay 
that we can still leave there. We'll add that shape ourselves. And we have this one here, which we can use to shape this part. And we're going to have this one here, we can use just to bring this a little bit more forward. And we want this part here kind of be touching slightly there, although that stone is going to be sitting in here, so that's kind of fine. Um, I think I'm happy with that. Maybe just down below, we want to bring that out some more, somewhat like that. Okay, so I'm not going to go too much further with that. We'll just put in the subdivision surface, see how that looks. That's going to be fine. And we can come in here and further edit this to have the right shape that we're looking for. So it looks like finally we're going to get this shape closer to what we see in the reference here. So we might as well work on it a bit more here. So something like that's fine. Yeah, that means we can easily come in here now. Just as well can make these kind of edits here that we feel are needed to fix this kind of intersecting yeah and yeah not not too much just the intersecting you you're looking to make it look like it's wrapping kind of on top of this thing it needs to be a bit organic looking um, and that's what we're going for here as well okay so that's a bit better there for now and yeah, so now we can really start working on those pieces there so we three three minutes in um what i'll do is i'll make i'll make one of these pieces or two of these pieces on screen and you guys can see and then i'll stop this recording and make the rest um i'm just gonna make like four variations maybe and we'll duplicate them all over so yeah let's move on to that so let's hide everything that we don't need to see any of these things so an H like that and let's work on one of these kind of shapes here so it's nothing serious I guess if you're gonna bring in something like a cylinder why not um, let's bring this number down quite low uh, something like eight could be fine and we want nothing here and yeah this should be fun so let's move it here to the top let's put the sorry 
let's put the origin onto the midi cursor so it's in the bottom there that way if we scale it's going to scale from that point okay and let's begin so select everything in edit mode sorry in object mode and then done so let's start with a big one something like that okay um So we can see the beginning is kind of going to be this shape and then we're going to start to get this thing and we're going to get all these plain changes which we're going to do during sculpting and then we'll retopologize the piece to capture the forms and we'll do that using instant meshes okay so what we want for this is to now take this part here and bring it down uh, extrude another piece up here and we're going to scale flat and in something like that okay and then we're going to extrude it one more time and scale it down and flatten it Okay, something like that. And then we can go and make our point here. So E <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, now we just need to dissolve all of this, so control, <coughs> sorry, the vo remove the double vertices, which we just created there, and yeah, so now we can take this, bring it up, something like that. And for the bottom, it's going to be best for us to close it off so we can extrude, scale it in a little bit, extrude, scale it in one more time, and then extrude the final time and just merge it in the center there. We're going to want this part kind of sharp here. And what we can do now is just kind of start to shape this guy. So we do know that we're going to want a crease here. Okay, definitely. And we don't want to crease here, so we might as well put that in there. So long as well. Okay, cool. We know that it's going to be kind of rotated in a way, so we can put an edge loop here. Do that, and then we can take this proportional editing take all of that and do something like that and then bring it forwards then we can rotate again and only this part here and then Sorry, I'm trying to deselect this, but it's not working. <coughs> so I'm just going to select these ones now manually because they're being assholes. And we'll just rotate this piece. Put them on its own here as well. Okay. So we got something like that for our first, our first one. Okay. So for the second one, we're going to duplicate this one. Put it back there. 
and we'll just make changes to the overall shape. So this one maybe is going to be more bulky all around these areas. Somewhat like that. already gave it a different effect um, we can go do something like that make this one hello maybe in that way and let's make it definitely a bit shorter as well. Okay, so there we've got a second variation. So we're in 40 minutes here. Um, I'm going to create two off screen. And in the next video, we'll um, sculpt these pieces separately, do the retopology, and then prepare to place them. And then all we need to do is finish up this webbing and finally sculpt the webbing and add details to the blade. Okay, so see you guys in the next part.